Have you ever had the irresistible urge to buy new books just because maybe it interests you or maybe it, there's a huge discount or uh, maybe Amazon recommends uh, another book that caught your eye or you were just browsing at the local bookstore and you saw something that caught your interest and then you bought it, maybe you even bought a whole stack of books. I think for any book lover, bookworm, this has probably happened to you. I know it's happened to me. So uh, in this video, I want to talk about this, I guess, bookworm problem that we have of uh, buying several books that maybe we don't even read, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it has happened. So um, yeah, we're going to dive into this and I'll talk about some solutions and why you probably shouldn't just go out there and buy a cartload of books just for the heck of it, even if the books are on discount. We'll get into more details, so uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and let's dive into this awesome topic. So as a lot of you may know, I live in Surabaya, Indonesia, and every single year they have this huge book bazaar called Big Bad Wolf Books. And the like thousands, millions of books, I think, or at least hundreds of thousands of books are discounted. A lot of these books that you see on the shelf, I probably got there. Uh, so every single year I go uh, to this book bazaar and you know, each book maybe only costs about six bucks or even five bucks, even for, even for a hard cover book, which is amazing. Uh, the first few years that I went there, I bought like a crap load of books, like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 books at one time. Some of those books I have not even touched at all. Others I have. And that's all the way back from, it started in uh, 2016, I started going there. So I'm not saying that it was a waste of my time to like buy these books and, and a waste of my money to buy these books, except for the few ones that I look at now and I'm like, mm, I probably will never read this book, right? So I'm sure this has happened to you, right? I mean, otherwise you might not be watching this video if it didn't happen to you. Uh, so yeah, I mean, discounted uh, bookshops maybe or like I said at the beginning of the video, maybe Amazon is suggesting a book, a book bundle, uh, or you go to your local bookstore and they have a huge discount, something like that. And you end up buying a crap load of books and some of those books you probably will never read. I may be wrong about that. My advice here for you today is, number one, when you're going to these discount places, wherever it may be online or at a bookstore, make sure you align your choices with these three things. One, is it something that helps you fulfill your purpose or your professional life? Uh, what are the skills that you are trying to improve? Number two, does it help you solve a problem? Does it help you solve a problem? Like if you're suffering from anxiety or you want to learn how to start a business or you know maybe you're having problems with your kids so you buy a parenting book. Like think about all the problems that you may have in your life. Does that book help you solve a problem? And the third one is, does it pique your curiosity? Is it interesting? Do you like the topic? Do you think you'll read it in the future, right? So these are all the questions that I personally ask myself before I buy a book, whether it's a discounted book or whether it's a new book. And if I feel any sort of doubt that I probably won't read that or I probably don't need that now, then I won't buy it, even if it's a discounted book, unless it's really, really dirt cheap two bucks or something, right? Um, so these are the questions that you can ask and just be mindful that it doesn't have to fit in all three categories. It just has to fit in one, in my opinion. So uh, again, purpose, 
curiosity and problem or purpose, problem and curiosity is what I said earlier. So yeah, fit these, these categories, ask yourself that way you're not going to be wasting your time or your money, because if you're not going to read it and it's not going to be that impactful of a book, maybe then it's probably not worth your time or your money, because imagine how many hours you have to spend on reading that book. If you don't, even if you don't finish it, those are hours that you could have used on a better book, on a book more related to your purpose, more related to your problem and more related to your interests. So the point is, if it doesn't align, then don't buy it. If it doesn't align with any of those three, don't buy it. Don't waste your time or money on it. But of course, if you have any sort of inkling that you will read it in the future, like I was mentioning earlier, some of these books, I'll give you an example. So here's my example. This is You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. And I picked this one up in 2016. I read it in at the end of 2020 and finished it like January 2021. So it had been like five years, four and a half years since I bought this book until the time that I read it. And I am so happy that I read it. I am so happy that I bought it for like four bucks, right? I'm extremely happy about this book because it was very powerful. It's exactly what I needed at this time in my life. So, and at that time that I bought it, I needed it too, but I just hadn't read it. So I'm so happy that I did buy it. So, and then the other example of a book that I regret buying that I probably won't read, I might, I might, who knows, is this one. Uh, Millennials Rising, The Next genera uh, Great Generation. So, I mean, I'm not even sure why I bought this book. Um, and like I said, I don't even know if I will buy it. I mean, read it. Uh, I believe I bought this in 2018. So it's been like three years and I might just dip into it just to see if it's worthy of reading or not. Um, who knows? It might be good, but I just don't really feel the need for it right now. So I'm not going to read it until I feel the need until I feel like this is what I really, really want to read at this time. Okay, so the key message of this video right here is don't buy the book if you don't feel like it's going to align with your purpose for your professional development or personal development, your problem or your interests. We don't want to waste our time or our money on books that are not going to help us progress in our life. Because imagine how many books that you can actually read in a lifetime. If you're reading, let's say 20 books a year, right? How many books will that be? So let's say you're 30 years old right now and you read 20 books per year and you live until the age of 90, right? Uh, I calculated it's 1,200 books. So from the age of 30 until 90, you can read 1,200 books. Now that sounds like a huge number, but also that's a lot of years as well. So you want those 1,200 books to be really good books. I mean, there's millions, billions of books out there. There's a lot of books out there. So we need to choose wisely about what books we read. That way we don't waste our time or money. So yeah, that's the key message of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got a whole lot from it. And next time you go to a book bazaar or you go to a discounted bookstore or there's a big discount or you're on Amazon, think about those three questions. What purpose does it help me to improve? What problem does it help me to solve? And is it interesting? Is the topic interesting? Okay, so make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in the next week's video. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like these. Also follow my other social media accounts such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for more valuable content.
Thank you for watching again, and I will see you guys next time.